CC. Um, record log entry, please. Um, well, it seems like one of the bad suction couplers. Um, I think one of the 75s has gone a bit wonky donkey, shall I say. I know runical procedures basically prohibit terminals like me to go out and muck about with things like that, but, well, we're on the tertiary approach vector to Io, Jupiter's moon, and, I mean, I wouldn't be doing my job, well, fulfilling my purpose, if I didn't make sure we got there and got as much of the good stuff as I can possibly get. So, yes, I'm going against protocol, um, but I'm going to go out and see what's up with the bugger, see if I can't fix it. If I can, then... Bingo. You'll hear from me again, or I suppose you won't see me again, but you'll get the helium 3. And if I don't, well, you'll never hear from me again anyway. <laughs> Alright, CC. Wish me luck. Out. This looks like a one. I'm getting seven, five, six, four, three, zero, six, one, three, two, four. Cool. All right. I'm gonna open her up. Yeah. 
tasty. The magnetic core disengaged then. Something else. Sounds like the vent. Filter is back up and running, so. Okay. <laughs> Out of here. Bring. My little friend aboard. Spacewalks. CC. I'm home. No. <laughs> oh. And I. I brought a friend. Cece, can you prepare? I think. How about some steak and eggs? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Today's a special occasion. Thank you, Cece.
Um, this is personal entry. But I wanted to, yeah. Just to say, this Nutri-Vape was supposed to taste like steak, but it actually tastes like raw eggs. Then again, a lot of Nutri-Vapes taste like raw egg. Anyway. Let's make this a official log entry, why not? So, I think I'll uh, save the rest for later, but I did bring a new friend back today. It's a flower. I found it in the fat coupler. I don't know if it's been with me since I left or if it's a joke, some kind of prank. Seems quite poor taste, but here it is, a little flower. So I've popped it into homeostasis and I'm going to take a look at it, try to work out what it is. It looks like cherry blossom or something, but I'm not a botanist, am I? And you know what? I sort of figured that well, if I can't save myself or look after myself or do anything like that, then I can at least give this little fella a bit of hope. Anyway, let's run some diagnostics. Test it with a bit a different light. sense to give it a drink. It's quite beautiful in a way.
Benjamin. Seven years. Is, this, is that right, Cece? Yeah. And, well, when your only company is a mute computer and yourself gets a little lonely. So it's genuinely a pleasure to. Sorry. To meet another organic life form. That's if you are organic. It's not some kind of sneaky, sneaky test or anything. You know. is that you don't know it, but maybe you can feel it. I've read somewhere that your kind, I'm sorry, um, flowers, blossom, whatever you are, that they can feel, that they scream, that grass blades scream when they're trodden on, that they feel pain, that water feels pain. Do computers feel pain? Probably not. Unless we program them to. That'd be pretty sadistic, wouldn't it, don't you think? Imagine that programming something to only feel. Oh, right, yeah. That's. That's not. Not making a lot of sense, I guess. Well, 
I should have given you a name. I have not yet given you a name. That's rude. It is exceptionally rude. Whoa. Or is it more rude for me to give you a name? For me to claim some kind of ownership over you? Some kind of dominion? Probably not. Regardless, it feels rude. feel like you deserve a name. sense. The company who I work for, Runa Corp, they're Japanese. And the Japanese word for flower is Hana, I think. And it also happens to be a very <laughs> Anglican name, so it suits mine. Although I suppose mine is more Hebrew. That doesn't really matter, does it? Hannah is a nice name. Two syllables. Feminine in any language. Not that that should matter. Regardless, Hannah, I shall make it my mission. In fact, for the remaining years of my life to protect you, to nurture you, and to ensure that you have the best life possible. What do you, what do you think about, about that? Okay, this, this looks a little unsettling, I guess. Let me put some ambient lighting on for you. It'll change with Earth's time so that you don't get out of sync. Or I suppose you must be out of sync already. Your circadian rhythm must be must be really messed up. But I go to bed and put my thinking cap on for a bit. I will see you in the morning, Hannah, and we'll have breakfast together. I won't have steak. I guess I'll have, well, rotten eggs.
thing is rubbish. Okay, CC. Let's record an obituary. First off, thinking caps are supposed to stimulate the brain, help us to is what keeps me focused. What keeps me engaged. The thought that this is the thing. This innocuous little tube that when activated like cattle will kill me long before my disease does probably you still recording CC sorry if it's boring you CC the black gold star given to all members of the terminus project something to be proud of. We are sacrificing our own lives to 
protect those of the future, to secure H3 for the world by leaving the planet we are leaving it in a better place our legacy is that of life hmm. even though I'm gonna die I suppose that's anyone's legacy, really. But this isn't exactly a glorious endeavor, CC. They used to send prisoners on these missions before it became outlawed, obviously. And before they stopped using prisoners, they shut all the prisoners down. I suppose that if anyone listens to this or watches it or whatever, they won't believe that that could happen, that prisons could be shut down. I mean, that prisons would be operational. They couldn't imagine a world with prisons. All I can remember is a world with one. Because we were all in prison. But that's a bit pretentious. What I mean is, no. what glory is this for me? If the role was previously fulfilled by those sentenced to death, then again, I suppose, in a way, I'm sentenced to death. This flu is incurable. There is no cure. And so we, why wouldn't I volunteer to be part of the Terminus Initiative? Why wouldn't I want to leave this world better than when I left it and how I left it? It's just bizarre. We're all sentenced to death and we're all prisoners of our own devices, I suppose. <sighs> well, at least I have Hannah now, I suppose, so that, that that makes me sound weird. And that isn't in the obituary. I found a flower. This sounds insane. This is why I'm on this mission. I found a flower in one of the vat couplers, suction couplers, that carries the, the helium through back to Earth after I'm dead. And it, it, people always like, why? Why does it have to be one way? Well, because getting there and picking up the helium three is the difficult part. It's so precise. It needs deft human hands. Getting back is just hauling it. A machine can do that. And the trip's so breathtakingly long. So depressingly long. And lonely. But you know, it staggers me to think that they could have found an alternative on the way. But that's the problem. I'm thinking too much. It's been a long time. I've had an exciting day.
CC, I really, I'm really perplexed. I really don't get it. Look. So, on this neutral thing. Too bad. Leave a little bit to be desired in the taste department. They're cool. Mm. I think that's off or something. See if she's okay. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Well, this is.
this is unexpected. But not unpleasant, in fact. <clears throat> to me, excuse me, this seems like a reason to celebrate. You've been busy. I haven't so much. Um, just been. Sleeping, maybe, but yeah. No one's got me on the clock. More drink, huh? It's kind of like a first date, huh? Why do I keep. To remind the fool like me that in the ugliest of times there's beauty. Well, don't all clap at once. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Cece? Cece? Does that mean that I can go home? I like the name. 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 I'm afraid. But I'm afraid. But I'm afraid. You can't go home. You can't go home. You can't go home. You can't go home. Come on, Luca. Come on, Luca. Come on, Luca. You don't have to leave. 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 You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. That's. That's good enough for me. Why don't I grab my spacesuit and we can dance? Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's. Thank you. for saving.